So I did a video about a MC Star handguard, and I was really surprised of the quality on it because before in years past, NC Star has been kind of like that ripoff, you know, Chinese company. And whenever I saw them at the NRA show this year in Georgia, they had some stuff that kind of surprised me. Uh, they really upped their quality and kind of like changed the way they're doing things, I think. So I tried out the uh, long drop in handguard. I think it was about 13 inches, and that thing was really cool for the price. So I decided to pick up one of their short carbine length handguards. Um, this is a drop in unit, and it's just as good a quality as the other one. I was really surprised. 45 bucks. So that thing is pretty cool, and I needed a rear sight. This is just a cheap AR that I'm throwing together out of a bunch of parts that I had <clears throat> laying around. Um, and these rear carry handles for a good one, they're about 100 bucks. Uh, like a Wyndham, they're around 120 or so, and I really don't need the whole handle section. I just wanted a rear sight. I had a couple cheap Magpul pieces, and then I thought, you know what? I wonder if NC Star has something, and they did. They've got three different kinds of these rear sights. They have the carry handle, which I kind of didn't want. They have a flip-up sight like this one, and then they also had a, uh, a fixed rear sight. that looks like the rear sight aperture from a carry handle just without the handle piece. Um, they were all of course pretty cheap. They had the fixed piece, I think it was around 30 bucks or so, and then they had this flip up right here and it was only $16. So I decided to give it a shot and uh, show you guys how it comes out. I already took it out of the box to make sure everything was there and the quality is actually really good. Um, there's not any uh, excessive wiggle or anything and all the machining is really well. There's no uh, sharp edges or pitting or anything like that. But it comes with uh, the sight in the box and then, uh, of course, a little Allen key here. Let me get this thing in a little bit closer so you can see. There we go. So you have up and down adjustment and then left and right over here. This doesn't uh, have a spring, it doesn't flip up. You pull it and it clicks into place. And like I said, it's really solid. There's not, there's maybe a tiny bit of side to side wiggle. It's probably not even picking up on the camera. But definitely not anything that's gonna affect uh, accuracy. In the front, you've got your marks right there. Here in the rear, you also have those same marks. Then you have your small and large peep. Really tactile and they clip into place really well. This is pretty, uh, has a really nice spring behind it. I don't think you're going to knock this thing down on accident. It, uh, it's, it's pretty tough. I'm probably going to always leave it up for this rifle. This is just a, a beater rifle that I put together to try out different products. There's a lot of products like this that I've been wanting to give a try, but... I uh, didn't kind of necessarily want to put them on my more expensive, higher quality AR-15. So I built something to just kind of throw around and test things out with. But yeah, we'll go out to the range with it, um, see how it does, see if we can zero it and see if it'll hold zero and we'll beat it up, see how it goes. But anyway, there's a new look or, or a look at the, some of the new stuff from NC Star. It looks like they're putting out some pretty cool stuff. I'm still not sold on their optics, but their pieces like this uh, seem to be um, a pretty good savings.